Golf simplified. Can you make center contact, strike the ball in the center of the face? Can you have the club's swing arc traveling relatively parallel to your target line? And can you have the face angle also perpendicular to that target line, meaning aiming at contact where you want your ball to launch? That's Golf Simplified. Here's a drill that'll give you feedback and help you develop those three simple elements and turn your ball striking into a leap. It's called low point laneway, and it is as I have set up. I have two alignment rods. If you don't have alignment rods, you can certainly use club shafts. And I have them maybe half an inch on either side of the toe and the heel of the club. Then I've taken tees and I've drawn scratch marks. One, two, three, four, five, along the distance, maybe six, seven inches apart. The scratch marks serve as my intent to land the club on that specific location. That ensures solid contact. My laneway is the visual description of the direction I want the club traveling at the bottom of the arc. And then I'm gonna play around through slow and deliberate rehearsals with an awareness of the club face angle relative to my alignment rods here, roughly perpendicular to it. So we start slow and we start small. Slow back, slow through. I can see as I'm making these slow rehearsals, the blur that the club makes traveling through parallel to the laneway as described. I've also got that feel for where my club is landing. And now I'm gonna contrast open versus closed face. So if I did that slowly, here's the club traveling in. This is me leaving the face open. Here's me traveling the club in and over closing the face. And now I have some sort of calibration as to the amount of twist in the handle of the club that's gonna get that club face aimed where I want that ball to launch. Then, once we develop that awareness, we start to increase the length and the speed of the swing. Still looking for that same visual of success. Did I land my club correctly at minimum on the line? If not, just like my last one, slightly forward of my scratch mark. Make a new one, full divot. I can still see the blur of the club that describes the arc it's traveling. The aftermath here, this divot, also describes the success of that parallel uh, delivery of the club arc. And then ultimately, as you've gone one, two, three, four, five, you're ready to road test it. You're ready to road test it with a live fire shot. Just for convenience, I'm gonna tee a ball up using one of my tees. And then the success here of how well I've landed my club and how accurately my shot travels tells me whether I need to go back to my training station. So it launched straight, had a little bit of a draw on it, and roughly, again, golf simplified, can we keep our um, kind of ball between the beakers, so to speak? It's online, and that's all we really need to start playing better golf. So a simple drill, if you do it, I guarantee you'll hit better shots.